for what it typically is. Because here, I oftentimes go into a PowerPoint presentation, and introduce you to all kinds of uh, cool things and cool ways to be able to get money for your business. Well, today's going to be no different, but I have a special guest with on, on with us today that's going to be joining us. It's going to be going over a lot of cool things related to business funding, how to get funding, how to get money for your business, how to get loans, how to get credit lines, uh, how to streamline this and do this in a way where it's easy and fast for you to be able to get uh, the money that you need. So this, as you know, a lot of people don't know about Credit Suite. We talked about 50,000 people through the process of building business credit, uh, getting financing. And we have a lot of different lenders that we work with that offer a lot of different kinds of funding programs. But we have one that is our favorite, one that stands out, one that we send the majority of our clients to because they help get maximum funding. And they also have access to multiple different funding programs to be able to offer our clients, which we love. Plus the customer service is fantastic. So our clients are able to come in and get a lot of money, uh, even when they think they can't qualify. They're treated like rock stars as a result. And I just can't say uh, enough about Joe and National. So anyways, let me bring in a special guest with us today. Uh, Joe is joining us here from the beautiful hills of New Jersey. Does that sound the beautiful hills? Of <laughs> Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same thing. New Jersey, New York. It's so cold. It's warm and it's cold. That's all that there is it, in this world. It is uh, cold. That's for sure. I got to come so down. Joe you here time. is with National Business Capital. I'm yeah, great, man. Thanks for coming in. And uh, to give everybody some history, you know, we do a lot of loans. We used to work with a lot of different lenders. And again and again and again, we found one that came through for our clients again and again, got them more money than they thought. The customer was ecstatic, got them approved when uh, they were previously denied. And so as a result, we started spending more and more and more uh, files over there. And I was with Joe up in watching a New York game, uh, a hockey game, when we were up in uh, November for the, uh, up in New York. And he said, hey, we should do more stuff. I said, man, why haven't I put you out in front of our tribe to tell them what you do and be able to give them an easy path to be able to get capital? So we worked it out. Joe's with us today, and he's going to go through and give you some of the best training you're going to get on the easiest and fastest way to get capital to grow your business. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to you, Joe. I think you've got uh, even a PowerPoint that we'll be able to go through today, and um, we're looking forward to it. Awesome. Well, thank you, Ty. Thank you for uh, letting me in with your tribe. Hello to the tribe. I hope you all are doing well. We're going to rip through some great stuff today, talk about financing capital money in your business. And uh, I'm going to roll through this quickly because I'll respect your time as a business owner. And uh, let's get started. So, all right. So as Ty mentioned, as Ty mentioned, my name is Joe Cambrato. My company is National Business Capital. And uh, I started, uh, I founded National, just some fun facts about National, founded uh, by myself in 2007. Um, it's been over 15 years now. Uh, it started off as a small uh, local like business consultant. Um, out of my spare bedroom, uh, has become an awesome uh, leader in fintech. And we've helped secure over a billion dollars in financing since we've gotten started. Our platform has over 75 lenders um, within our marketplace. We've also been top workplace 2019, 20, and 21, uh, number one top workplace on Long Island. And what does that mean to you? It means all the people here you're going to work with are awesome. Um, on top of that, what's really important is we have 75 lenders on our marketplace. And Ty and I talk about this all the time. And what's really important to understand is, you know, if no lenders are alike and no business are alike and not one lender um, can help um, every single type of business, there's so many different reasons someone may need money. There's so many different industries. There's so many credit profiles. There's so many different levels of revenue and all of those different things make up which lender makes sense for you. So um, what makes us really successful and really successful with getting folks like you approved um, is um, having access to all these different lenders that offer all different types of things. And I'm going to talk about those things uh, in the presentation. Um, on top of that, we're a big fan of giving back. And we're, uh, we do some really cool local things in the community. But one cool thing that you should know is when you do business with us, we donate 10 meals to Feeding America. Uh, we've uh, provided over 100,000 meals to date since we started doing this a few years ago. I think we're almost actually at 200,000 meals now, which is really, uh, you know, just really important to us. Um, so some of the cool things, we're, we're all about 
um, technology and, and, and we use technology to help streamline the process and make it really easy for you um, and also for us to move a lot of things through our pipeline. But we also put a lot of a big focus on people. And I believe that it's a combination of great technology and great people. Um, but, you know, when you work with us, digital application, we are uh, directly, um, uh, directly, uh, we do a direct uh, bank connection where basically um, you can upload or um, do a quick bank login and we connect and pull all of your banking info. So you don't even have to send us actual statements. If you do, you don't have to do it over email. It's super secure and you can upload everything right to us, um, which makes everything really safe, especially in this lovely world we're in today. Um, we also have API integrations with our lenders. So what does that mean? Um, basically, our system is directly connected with our lender systems. So when you apply with us, we aggregate up all that information. Um, our system helps uh, create matches um, to our lenders. We use our lender uh, match technology. And then we also have someone here actually review it and confirm that that makes sense. Um, and then we'll submit you to not all of the 75 lenders on our platform, so don't be worried, but we'll submit you to everywhere from one to three to five lenders, depending. If those lenders fail, then we'll move on to the next set, um, and uh, which that helps ensure that you get matched. And it just eliminates um, aggravation, time, and frustration. You get to apply in one place, and then we do all the work for you and take our knowledge and technology and expertise to help you get matched. Because of our technology, you can apply in the middle of the night. Over the weekend, we process applications. Your application will get processed 24 seven, which is great. And then most of our uh, finance agreements are digital. So you can sign, click right from your phone or, uh, or computer. <clears throat> so here's the different, uh, in our marketplace, here's some of the options, uh, you know, just about all the options that you can offer um, or I'm sorry, access, and we can offer out to you, which is great. It really covers everything that you would need when it comes to financing your business. And this is really key. And what's super important, and Ty and I were talking about this yesterday um, on his podcast, is, um, you know, depending on what you're looking to borrow, like what you're looking to use money for, will really make up which one of these programs makes sense. And I'll talk a little bit about that. For instance, if you want to buy equipment, um, I'll just, let me rip through all these different things. We have business term loans, business lines of credit. We do equipment financing, SBA loans. We have our own little hybrid SBA uh, loan process, which we'll talk about. We do asset-based loans and business advances. Now, what's really important here, we work with all industries, all credit profiles, um, and we do deals as small as 10, 20,000 and, and go up to $10 million. So what's super important, a lot of owners don't understand this. Like if you're looking to finance equipment, a lot of people call and say, I need a term loan. I need a line of credit. Um, I need it quickly. I got, you know, this great deal on a piece of equipment. I need to move fast. We get that. It's great. But you want to find, you want to use an equipment lender for that and finance that specific piece of equipment. Um, you can find that stuff after five years, monthly payments, super low rates. But what's really key is by using equipment financing, one, um, you can still use the financing, not lay a dollar out of your cash flow, and you can still decide to. Um, depreciate all of it um, in year one. So you can pick up all of that depreciation, not lay any money out of cash flow. Obviously, you should speak to your accountant about this, um, but it's really great. But more importantly, you don't lock up um, your cash flow and you don't wind up taking out another piece of financing that might put a UCC lien and lock up everything. So if you find that piece of equipment, what that means is it'll still leave your, um, it'll still be, you, you'll still be able to leverage um, the other parts of your business to get a term loan or a business line of credit or an SBA loan um, and all the other loans listed here. So silly things like that. These are the things that we talk through that just quite frankly, most business owners just don't really understand or know. And as you shouldn't, like you're probably great at whatever it is you do in your business. Um, and financing is constantly changing. It's a lot for us to keep up. And we do this every single day and things are constantly changing. You know, I can only imagine for someone who doesn't do this every day, it, you know, it's, um, it's very confusing. So, you know, um, you, know, <laughs> you, you know, your lender says that they're lending, but, you know, are they? You know, and, and, and we talk about this, we laugh about this. I mean, you know, banks right now, it's just becoming more difficult to qualify, especially coming out of the pandemic. But banks are, are looking at larger and larger companies. You know, banks used to only want to do million to $5 million plus deals. You know, now they just want to do bigger deals, five, 10, $20 million plus. They want to work with big companies, lend a lot of money to a lot less people. 
Um, and a lot of banks are actually lending a lot of the non-bank lenders, which is our second thing. So banks are still lending. They're just lending to smaller private lenders so they can lend big pools of money and let them deal with managing that, taking on all that risk and not having to um, deal with the 25,000, 50, 100, half a million, million dollar fundings. Um, it, it's really interesting. So uh, again, banks are going to want um, collateral. Um, they usually can't move uh, quickly enough for you. Um, turnaround times. And also if you're growing, a lot of times they won't be able to keep up with that growth. Um, non-bank lenders um, and, uh, you know, are, are really great. And, and, and a lot of non-bank lenders are on our platform and even some um, SBA lenders are non-bank lenders. But the reality is, is that in the, going to an individual non-bank lender, they're only going to be able to offer their lending programs products um, and they can't offer anything else. And then, you know, an SBA um, lenders, SBAs are great, um, a little bit more difficult to qualify. Um, you need to be a business for at least two to three years. You have to be profitable. Um, and there's other requirements that you have to go through and a lot of debt ratios and things like that you need to to, uh, to meet. And then a marketplace. So working with the marketplace is a great option. Um, and that's what we offer. And that's why we built out this robust marketplace because we've got all the different lenders in one place. Um, we make it simple, easy. You can sit back, relax. You don't have to shop around from lender to lender. We do all of that. We match you with one or multiple lenders, bring those options back to you and explain them. Um, so we just really remove the frustration um, and aggravation of having to figure out what makes sense for you. And all of those lenders in our marketplace are constantly changing. Um, obviously, at a bank, you know, you need at least a 680, 700 credit score at the bare minimum. High annual sales, you know, usually two years of profit, um, you know, some sort of collateral, whether it's receivables or real estate, um, long established relationship. Um, you know, they want to see your plans and a business plan or something around the use of funds. Um, and, um, and they don't love to take on risk. You know, non-bank lenders, there's usually no minimum credit score. Um, you only need to be doing at least $120,000 a year in sales, one year time in business, focused on cash flow, not profit. Um, terms anywhere from as low as six to 24 months. Usually you don't need real estate collateral. Um, finding the right one though can be challenging, the right one that makes sense for your business. As I talked about with Ty yesterday, you know, you can be a 700 credit score. Um, doctor in business for 10 years, great profit, great revenue, um, and go to one lender and get approved for $250,000 over two to five years, super low rates, and go to another lender that's just not favorable to doctors and get approved for $100,000 over a year with a very high rate. So even if you are, have excellent credit, if you go to the wrong lender, um, you're not going to always, you know, you, you might not get the best deal because that lender is not maybe specific to your industry where some lenders are way more favorable of, you know, special products worked out for um, your type of industry. We have lenders that love contractors, construction industries. We have lenders that don't love them. Um, and, and, uh, and that goes for every other business, e-commerce, um, cannabis, um, real estate, um, retail restaurants. I mean, all of those different industries make up, you know, different types of lenders that focus on them. Um, and then again, our marketplace, um, we, if you've got excellent credit, if you've got challenge credit, we'll figure it out. We can get something done for you. You know, $120,000 a year in annual sales. That's the bare minimum. The more sales you do, the higher your approvals. We want to see your business for at least six months. That's, that's the bare minimum. We like a, a year plus. Um, we've got all different options, everything in one place. We match the right lender, as I mentioned. So, you know, we just like to talk about like what, you know, what are underwriters really looking for? And, and Ty's big with this, like all the things that you need to do, you know, to go and get credit and, you know, um, and, and just, you know, just shout out to, to Ty and the whole credit suite team. They're just so focused on, you know, explaining and helping people understand how to access credit. And we share a lot of those same values, which why we're you know, probably why we're power partners together. So, you know, you want to make sure you're depositing all your money into your business bank account. That may seem, seem so simple. But a lot of businesses that are picking up some cash don't do that, but then it hurts them when they go to get financing. Um, but more importantly, keep your bank account positive. You know, right now with COVID and the craziness, things are moving fast and, um, you know, supply chain issues. We're seeing all types of things out there. But whatever you need to do, you know, whatever you can do, keep your bank account positive. It's super, super important. Um, and the more money you keep in your bank account, the, 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 the more favorable you'll be to a lender. Um, maintaining consistent revenues. Um, is super important. And that's may just sound like so obvious, but 
you know, make sure what I tell business owners is make sure you've got your collection process nailed down. Some business owners are so great at driving sales, taking on more business, but they don't have a system and a process in place to go collect that money. And then they have these gaps in their cash flow and lenders don't like to see gaps in cash flow. It makes them nervous um, and all types of lenders. So, so keep that revenue consistently. Um, you want to make sure you're ac accurately reporting your debt when asked. Underwriters will find it. Um, show us all your business bank accounts. If you have multiple accounts, that's only going to help you um, get the uh, the most you know the most out of your approval, the best approval. And make sure you're just staying up to date on all of your payments and everything right now. Again, as things are moving fast, we see a lot of stupid little late bills and things like that that report to your business credit, not even your personal credit, or vice versa. And these little late bills make people wonder if you you know if you have an issue. Um, where there's something going on that, that they don't know about where you can't afford to pay little bills. Um, so those are simple little things, but you know, just make sure you're staying organized. And another like little bonus thing is make sure you're keeping your books and records and, and, and financials up to date and you have everything all together in one place. Because what we find is, you know, there's two reasons why you'll need money as a business owner. It's for an opportunity or a challenge. And sometimes an opportunity is a cash flow challenge. So what I mean by that is when opportunity strikes or a challenge, you know, hits you out of the blue, you need to be able to react fast. And, you know, we can get you financing up to about 250000 without financials just the last six months of your bank statements in a simple application. But if you want more than $250,000, we're going to need to look at your financials and probably last year's tax return. So you want to make sure that that stuff is ready to go at the drop of a dime's notice. Now, like right now, we're in February. We don't need your financials to be done up to last month, but we're definitely going to need like up done up until December's of all of last year's. Um, so, you know, even if your financials are done up to the last quarter, that's fine. But if you're going to need more than two hundred and fifty thousand dollars or more than a half a million dollars, you're definitely going to need those things. But when opportunity happens, if you've got to move fast, you don't want to be scrambling around to get those things done. With, you know, with your bookkeeper, um, you want to be able to fire those over right away. So keep up with that stuff. All right. So is putting up collateral really that bad? You know, um, real estate um, accounts receivables are actually considered a collateral. B2B quality account receivables are collateral. Inventory is collateral. Equipment actually be you know collateral. So this question comes up all the time. Collateral is not bad. Putting up collateral is not bad. Sometimes if you've got really great account receivables, like you're selling the Walmart, Target, um, United Rentals, like big different companies that are out there, they don't have to be so big and brand name. Um, but as long as it's B2B, you can actually leverage those receivables and get access to very large credit lines and credit facilities that are true revolving and the rates are actually really low. Um, so it all depends on the deal and what you're looking to accomplish. Um, if you, if, you know, we, we have a customer right now that's got um, $10 million of inventory and we're going to leverage that inventory and get them like a five to $7 million inventory line. We have a customer right now with a million dollars in inventory. We're going to leverage that and it's actually going to, if, if we don't use, there's a customer with a million dollar in inventory, we'll be able to get them probably $750,000 credit line. If we didn't use the inventory, we'd probably get them half a million. So it just depends on the situation. Sometimes if you've got collateral, it can only increase, um, it can only increase your approval amount. If you've got big pieces of equipment and, and machinery, sometimes those things can be leveraged. And then obviously real estate, that's the, the, the most obvious one. And most people, when they think collateral, they only think real estate. There's other types of collateral lenders will uh, consider. Now, you don't always need to use collateral. So sometimes um, by just leveraging your cash flow, um, you, can, um, you, can, you can access everything that is you need and don't need to put up collateral. So, you know, if you can get approved without, you know, having to put up collateral and even if you're paying a little bit more in the interest, you're probably always better not having to put up collateral. And the reason why I say that is not just so you don't have to put up collateral, but that's a good thing. If you don't need to, why? But, you know, if you've got that collateral, keep it there because if you wind up needing additional money or more money, you can always use that collateral to your advantage, to, to your advantage and for, uh, for leverage. So, again, just keep that in mind. So, moving on, how are clients uh, growing, you know, with financing and how are clients doing it right now? So, you know, right now people are back to expanding. Um, they're trying to buy inventory as quickly as possible, especially with all the supply chain issues. We're helping a lot of folks get ahead of that and pre-plan. <clears throat> a big piece of advice right now, if you're, in, in, you know, in construction, if you're in e-commerce, if you're wholesale distribution and you're buying inventory, you really need to plan right now. Um, 
and you should be leveraging financing to get ahead of this um, to make sure that you're meeting your demand. And there's nothing worse than losing sales um, because um, you didn't get ahead of it and plan, you know, planning out. Um, people are back to, you know, purchasing other locations. There's a lot of baby boomers that are moving on from their businesses. COVID fast forward a lot of that. So there's a lot of opportunities to buy additional locations, other businesses out there. We're helping people with that with term loans um, and uh, SBA acquisition financing. So really cool stuff to look at. Um, people are taking the time. Hey, let's time to freshen up. Let's remodel. Let's get ready for the summer. They're doing outside patios, different things, um, or just, um, you know, using, uh, you know, taking it as a, you know, a lot of people have stopped and looked at their businesses and said, hey, what can we approve here? Um, and people are getting back to marketing, which is really great to see. And then people are back to hiring again. So payroll um, and hiring new employees. Um, and our top industries, and I'm just going to list all these out here. Um, we do a ton in, uh, with people in the construction industries, really all the trades. Um, we do a ton of business in, whether you're in construction, as far as building, whether you're in paving, whether you're in roofing, whether you're HVAC, um, electrician. I mean, you name it. There's so much building going on in the country right now. Um, we, we love uh, the construction uh, folks and we help them buy materials and, and they're leveraging lines of credit um, in order to take on more jobs. And we're going to talk about that in just a little bit. E-commerce companies, so many companies move to e-commerce. So many e-commerce businesses have popped up out of this. Um, there's a lot of lenders that scrutinize e-commerce companies because they don't have physical locations or hold inventory. Um, we work with lenders that love e-commerce, that get e-commerce. We get e-commerce. Um, we help people... Um, you know, take use utilize lines of credit to even to either buy inventory or spend money on ads to drive sales. Um, professional services, insurance businesses, um, accountants, lawyers, um, um, consultants. Um, we love those businesses. We love all businesses. Uh, manufacturing, retail, restaurants, medical, doctors, dentists, transportation, trucking, um, and then wholesale distribution uh, distributors. Um, you know, those are our top industries. Um, we even work in the cannabis space. Um, and emerging industries. So um, if you don't see your industry on here, we work basically with, with every industry. There's, there's not much we don't do, but these are just the top ones. So, you know, using financing as a tool, tips, tricks, and tax advantages, financing um, really is a tool when utilized the right way. Um, you know, people right now, it's a competitive world. You know, with the internet, as the world continues to change, can people just continue to do more business across the border. I mean, restaurants are shipping food across the country now. So even if you were a restaurant, it was only competitive locally. You, you now with like, you know, places like Gold Belly and things like that, you know, you can order a New York pizza uh, if you live in, uh, in Florida, like Thai, right? So, um, so, so really cool stuff. And because of that, it's competitive. So you got to get ahead of your competition and utilize financing to do that. If you're going to grow your business, unless your business is so, so profitable and you're keeping so much cash in the business, you're going to need money to grow. And companies, Believe it or not, which most business owners don't realize this until they start growing. When the faster you're growing, the more access to capital you're going to need. Um, and, and a lot of people think that you only need money for bad reasons. Actually, the, you know, most of the companies we work with are in high growth mode. And when you're in high growth mode, you need money. You got to capitalize on opportunities. Um, and listen, I think you, know, you need to prepare for you know, tidal wave of business as things are booming back. You need to get ahead of it. The smart customers we're seeing right now, smart business owners that are coming to us, they are taking advantage of every opportunity possible um, while people are still kind of sleeping at the wheels. So um, if you're not doing it, your competition is don't let someone eat your lunch. Um, people are utilizing contract workers um, and reducing um, actual cost. And there's a lot of ways that you can do things today where you don't actually physically need an employee and you can leverage and outsource a lot of different things. And you can also outsource to people locally here in the U.S. Um, this is so underutilized request discounts from vendors. A lot of people don't even realize it, but you know, a lot of times you get terms from your vendors, you pay them in 30, 45, 60 days. We, we we work with um, our customers. We educate them. People will take out a credit line for us. It might cost them, you know, 1% a month, right? Um, even if it's 2% a month, but let's just assume it's 1% a month. They'll leverage a credit line and actually go to their vendors where they're buying stuff from and say, hey, if I pay you immediately, will you give me a discount? And a lot of times they're picking up two, three, four, five percent discounts. So by actually leveraging financing, they're actually making money with our money. So they're going to their vendors, they're paying us 1%, they're getting a discount of 3%, and they're keeping a 2% additional spread 
um, in the products that they're purchasing. So the smart business owners utilize financing as a tool and, um, and, and, and it's, it's really, really cool when you start using financing as a tool. You can start doing some unique things, leverage your company and grow faster. Um, you know, people are, are, are spending bucks in advertising smarter, moving to digital, saving bucks there. Um, and they're starting to really put dollars into technology in order to automate streamline processes and eliminate the having to add more people as they grow. Um, stay away from personal credit cards. We see so many business owners using their personal credit cards. And it does a few things that really is not good for you. One is it, it racks up debt on your personal credit, which if you don't pay off um, every single month back down to zero over time, it drags down um, your credit score. It also maxes out. It looks like you're maxed out on your debt, which doesn't look good when you go to apply for a car loan or for a mortgage. Um, it can really affect you getting that. Um, and then more importantly, when you use your personal credit card, that interest that you're paying, you cannot write that off. When you do a business loan or a business line of credit or a business term loan or any form of business financing, you can write off that interest. Super, super important. A lot of business owners misunderstand this. They don't get it. Um, and all of the financing, the business financing products that we offer do not report to your personal credit, which is really important for you to know. Um, and just make sure you're evaluating all your fees. Um, business owners don't do this and, um, and, and little fees start to add up over time. And then take advantage of tax incentives. So again, if you need to buy equipment, you can finance that equipment, whether it's through equipment financing, which you always should. You can finance office equipment. You can finance your tables and chairs um, in your restaurant, your kitchen in your restaurant, construction, all the yellow iron, um, and uh, you know landscaping, all the different, whether it's a lawnmower to a tractor, um, whatever it might be, um, IT equipment, e-commerce, um, even sometimes tech, you know, certain softwares um, can, believe it or not, be financed. But all of these things can be financed. And when you finance equipment, you don't lay any money out of your cash flow, but you can choose to depreciate that asset um, in, in the year that you purchased it and pick up almost that tax credit. So a lot of people don't realize this. They just pay cash for everything. Rates are really low in equipment financing. So to not take advantage of that, the money that you'll save in your taxes is like unbelievable it way outweighs the cost um, of, uh, you know, of, um, of your income taxes. And more importantly, if you're keeping that cash on hand, you can buy that equipment and then you can either put that cash in your pocket um, or you can go and market more or hire more um, and do more things to, you know, uh, spend more money um, on driving in, you know, more things uh, for that equipment to make money with. All right, so our ideal client profile, this is just ideal. Don't you know get caught up in this, but this is just to show you that we really work with everyone. Um, we love to see that you've been in business for at least one year. You know, We recently helped someone that was in business for six to nine months. They had a lot of cash flow, a lot of great accounts, um, big box retailers. We got them a credit facility for a few million dollars. But we wanna see at least one year time in business. If you're a little bit less, but you have cash flow, no worries, we can get, we'll, we'll work with you. Um, Annual gross revenue, as little as like 120 to 250,000, um, up to 20 million bucks is our sweet spot. We are rock stars um, in $1 million to $20 million companies. But if you're doing less than that, um, we're just really talented and skilled in the larger deal sizes, which most folks out there are not. We are. And if it's under, you know, if you're doing less than a million dollars, um, we move so quickly on those transactions and we have it down to a size. So no worries there. Um, credit profiles, I mean, if you have challenged your credit, you know, 500 credit score, beat your credit up, build in your business, I get it, respect it, um, and, and it's all good. We can work with you. You've got excellent credit, rock and rolling for many years, um, excellent, you know, revenues, profits. Um, we've got the right um, competitive products for you as well, too. Um, top industries, I mentioned all this earlier, you know, everything from construction to e-commerce to manufacturing, wholesale, transportation, medical. Um, and, um, and, and we do all industries and, um, and we're just helping people get back at it. People are taking advantage of the opportunity right now. They're expanding and back to growing their businesses. It's great to see. All right. So just going back in, you know, um, I talked about this earlier and again, we do business term loans, um, inventory lines of credit, um, true revolving business lines of credit, um, account receivable financing and business advances. And again, all industries, all credit profiles. Um, so let's talk about this a little bit. Our high bridge SBA loan product is really cool. Um, 
this is our, our uh, trademark product. Basically, if you are looking for an SBA loan, we have SBA loans down to a science and we get them done in about 45 to 60 days, which is fast. If you go to a bank, it'll probably take you 90, 120 days, uh, maybe even six months. Um, I know someone right now that's, you know, came to us, they <laughs> were working on their SBA loan. It's been six months to get an answer back from the bank. We got it done in two months. Um, but what we can do, a lot of times you're like, I've got an opportunity right now. I do need an SBA loan for this, but I need money for this. Um, we'll give you um, immediate working capital today. Um, we will at, we'll, um, we'll evaluate your application. We'll confirm and get you pre-approved for an SBA loan. Once we confirm that, um, we'll give you um, some capital today that you can leverage and use to take advantage of your opportunity while we work on your SBA application. Um, it's really great. Super important for an SBA deal. You need to be in business for two years. Um, you know, gross annual sales, it, it, it's, you know, $250,000 or more, but really it's more, you have to be profitable and you're going to get approved based on your profit. Um, we have a really cool uh, proprietary calculator built out. So when you come to us, we run you through um, our SBA uh, loan calculator and we have like a 98% probability with this calculator, whether you're going to get approved or not. Um, and we look at a few things. Um, we evaluate your application, look at credit. And from there, we can give you a pretty good probability if this is going to be approved. If it is, we'll get you a pre-approval um, from one of our SBA lenders, um, and then we can work on another product. But you've got to have at least a 680 plus FICO. You know, they'll go down to a 650, 620, but we'll have to explain why that happened. You need to be in business for at least two years. You need to be uh, profitable in the most recent year. Um, you can't have any tax liens. Um, if you do, we have to really talk about that. Um, and um, and we do 7A, um, um, the 7A working capital product, which is the 10-year, it's a 10-year loan, ter loan term, and rates are usually prime plus 1% to 3%. If you're looking to buy real estate, you need 10% down, and we can find it over 25 years, super low rates. So our business term loan products, these are awesome. They go out to about three years, sometimes five, but typically – uh, three years. Um, we love to see two years time in business, um, 650, 620 plus FICO. We can go down to 600. Um, nothing, none of these guidelines are set in stone. There's always compensating factors. And that's what most business owners don't get understand. And that's the value that we bring to the table. Like, you know, it's, it's really interesting. Like, when you're in business, like you work with, you know, you work with professionals, like you have your accountant, you've got your attorney, you'll work with a business consultant on something specific, a marketing consultant for marketing. You know, when you're doing fines and you want to work with a really good financing advisor or financing consultant, that's who we are. And, you know, if you're looking at all these different things, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm close here. You know, I'm only a year and a half in business and I'm a 650 FICO. But like, there's all these compensating factors. So when you come to us, we look at all this stuff. This is just a rule of thumb. But we've had people you know, one and a half years time business, one year time business, 620 FICO, and we've got an amazing approval on a term loan. We know what to look for. We know the questions to ask. We kind of understand your story. And then we go explain that story to the underwriters and our lending partners. That's a value that we bring to the table. And, you know, everyone talks about fintech today. And yes, we use technology. Lenders use technology, but it's still, you know, relationship-based financing. And you still need to be able to talk and, and explain things to underwriters and point things out. And that's where we come in. Um, so again, our business term loans um, are really great. Uh, large offers, uh, low rates, long terms, um, going out to three you know, plus years. Um, we can re we, we've been doing some deals recently, refinancing folks that have one or two um, business loans out there, refinance them, cat getting them some cash out and lowering their payments. Um, we can do monthly payments. Um, um, a lot of our business term loan products report to your biz business credit, um, which I know Ty and his team will love. Um, it actually help you build your business credit. We do loan amounts here as low as ten thousand um, and go up to five million dollars without real estate, which is pretty amazing. And we can get you a decision same day. So, secured business line of credit. Um, we're we're doing um, um, uh, you know a lot in this area, we're, especially in the e-commerce world, wholesale distribution world. Um, if you've got um, great account receivables, you're, you're doing a lot of B2B business, um, we can get you a true revolving line of credit against those receivables. We can go up to 80, 90, and 95%. No industry restrictions. Um, 
We also can sometimes do no personal guarantees, which is great for multi-million dollar lines. Um, and uh, we like to see at least $250,000 or more um, in receivables. Um, no minimum FICO score here, no minimum time in business. We're not focused on that. Um, true revolving terms, rates are you know prime plus. Um, facility sizes, small as 250, up to 25 million bucks. Um, unsecured business line of credit, these are great. You don't need to necessarily have, uh, you don't have to have B2B receivables at all. No real estate, true revolving, um, large offer, great rates, uh, revolving terms, you know, unsecured, so no real estate collateral. Um, you can pay as you go, you only pay for what you use. Let's say you get approved for up to 250,000 bucks. If you only used $50,000, you have $200,000 remaining. As you pay back, the money becomes available again. These products are really great. Minimum 600 FICO score, at least $300,000 a year in annual sales. We can, again, sometimes go less. Uh, one year time business, we can get you approved, funded the same day. Um, we'll knock these out of the park. People um, love utilizing us for, uh, for this product. Uh, business Advance, um, there's time and a place, and, and a Business Advance can be a great product, advance against your uh, future sales. Um, what's really cool, um, there are some great lenders out there that do this. There are some not great lenders that do this. So it's super important that you work with the right lender. We only have quality and the right lenders on our platform. Um, what's really cool about a business advance is there's no industry restrictions, no personal guarantees, which most people don't realize. Um, rates have become actually very competitive, and, um, and sometimes these products can actually be the most competitive. Um, we can do, again, uh, um, advances as small as $10,000 up to $5 million bucks. Um, terms as, as short as six months out to 24 months and even offer prepayment discounts. Um, only one year time in business, if you're a little bit less, that's okay. Minimum of $15,000 a month deposited, and it's not focused on credit. Equipment financing, um, we can uh, do equipment financing um, as small as $10,000, $25,000, up to a million bucks. Um, really great, um, you know, uh, we can, you know, a lot of equipment lenders, most of them out there are the big brand names, you've gotta have excellent credit. Um, if you, you know, if you've got not excellent credit, we can help you here. If you've got excellent credit, um, we can absolutely help you. Um, we do all types of industries here, trucks, um, e-commerce, IT, tech, uh, construction, restaurant. Um, I mean, you name it, uh, we, we do it all. Um, and uh, we can do app only, so application only, um, very little or almost no financial docs, up to $500,000, terms after five years. Um, rates um, actually have come down, believe it or not. So it says in here start at 8%, but rates actually start at 4 to 6% um, and go up from there based on risk. Um, we have a deal right now, a person uh, financing um, um, uh, a truck for about, a uh, big tractor trailer, about $200,000 in over five years. They're at five and a quarter uh, percent uh, monthly payments, um, which, is, uh, which is awesome. All right. All right, so up next, let's talk about some success stories so you can understand what we're doing. I love these six stories. I love seeing these successes. Um, not only me and my team is winning, it means uh, you, our business owners, are winning, um, which we love uh, helping business owners succeed. So uh, construction industry, um, use of financing, you know, new projects coming up. Um, and they, you know, right now everyone's dealing with this. They've got slow paying account receivables, net 60 to 90 days. It's preventing them from starting new work. Client had upcoming uh, projects and they, they were undercapitalized. They needed money. It actually was going to cost them more money to not borrow money. And I want you to think about that. A lot of times business owners contemplate borrow money, like borrowing money is a bad thing. If you are bar, if you're borrowing money to do foolish things, or blow money on luxury things when you shouldn't be, um, then borrowing money doesn't make any sense. Um, if you're borrowing money to go on a vacation, that doesn't make any sense. But if you're borrowing money and you're putting that money to work to make more money, it makes sense. For some reason, there's always been this negative connotation around financing, around loans. Like, oh my God, if I borrow money, I'm I'm bad. Uh, that means I'm not doing good. No, it it it. it there's, you know, I, what I want you to think about is a lot of times, if you've got an opportunity in your business, a lot of times we see by doing nothing, it actually costs business owners more than to borrow money and pay interest. So this, um, this awesome client um, was not able to take on their additional jobs. Um, it, was, it was jamming them up for moving on and making a lot more money. They have great margins um, in their business. Um, so they were able to, um, by what we were able to do is we did, um, 
Um, we did a business loan, a term loan over 18 months at $175,000, no real estate collateral. Um, we also did a $75,000 uh, revolving line of credit. Um, they were able to um, purchase a ton of stuff um, and, and lay out some you know, payroll and some different things by using the term loan and then have a revolving line of credit where they can constantly buy um, their materials, um, repay it for the jobs, and then use it over and over again. Um, and, um, and they're actually, I'm sorry, uh, they were using a line of credit for, for payroll and for the receivable gaps as they needed and the term loan to buy a ton of uh, a ton of materials. And then being that's over an 18 month term, they're gonna buy all those materials, they're gonna do the job, they're gonna get paid back. Now they don't have to pay the loan off, they can actually keep turning that money and make money with our money, which is great. And we love to see that. Um, application to financing, application to funding, we got uh, both of these deals done in four days. They applied, money in their bank account, credit line, four days, team knocked it out of the park. Shout out to the national team, you guys rock. All right, next up. Um, wholesale toys, great business. Um, this was an awesome one. Um, and, uh, their, um, client was growing super fast. They were, you know, laying money out, um, to fulfill, fulfill orders. They worked with big box retailers, collectible toys, really cool stuff. Um, they needed to cover uh, cash flow. They needed to buy more inventories. Um, they had a revolving, uh, they, they had a revolving, um, uh, facility, uh, from Wells uh, Fargo and it was just challenging. They needed a larger facility. They, they just, they, Wells Fargo wasn't able to grow for whatever reasons. Um, so what we did here is we did um, $980,000 of working capital um, on a term loan basis over 12 months. And then we leveraged the receivables and we did a revolving um, credit line, an ongoing revolving credit line at $3 million. I think it was prime um, plus three to 5%. Prime rate right now is at three and a quarter. So it was anywhere from like six to 8% on the revolving line. They're super happy. They were able to rock and roll. And it, this is this is helping them um, get their business to the next level. We love to see this. Application of funding. Um, we got this done in only two weeks, um, both deals, um, which is pretty amazing. Team worked around the clock and the shout to the team again. Again, another e-commerce, seen a lot of e-commerce stuff. I talked about it earlier. Uh, everyone needs to purchase inventory. Um, they're selling on Amazon. They're selling on Walmart. Um, they had a, uh, they, they needed to purchase large stock inventory to avoid the supply chain issues. They needed to get ahead of it. Kind of like what I was talking about earlier. Um, and all their suppliers need everything to be purchased upfront and paid in full. Um, we did a business advance of this. We leveraged their future sales, $450,000 over a 12 month repayment period. Application to funding, three days. Nice work, guys. Construction again, we love construction. This person had to buy uh, equipment. Um, they're having a hard time getting approved for their, um, for their equipment purchase. You know, a lot of times you'll go to the vendor, you'll purchase a piece of yellow line or a piece of machinery. If you're in construction, you know what I'm talking about. And you'll apply at the place, just like you go to get a car and they apply for financing. They're having a tough time. Their personal FICO is a 623 FICO score. You know, they've grown their business and, and their personal credit uh, went down a little bit. That's okay. Um, 623 is not, not, not bad for us at all. Um, long story short, um, by getting this piece of equipment, it would speed up their projects that they were working on by 30%, which is amazing. Um, they actually said that they equated it, the time that they would be saving would be estimated to about 30 to $40,000 a month in monthly revenue. So again, like what I was talking about earlier, by not financing it, that by not going out there, picking up financing and, and paying some interest, I, by doing this, by buying this piece of equipment and financing it, leveraging their business and their sales, they're saving thirty to forty thousand dollars a month. This is a no-brainer. Um, it was a uh, their piece of equipment was one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. We financed it over five years. They were waiting for weeks at the vendor. We got this done. Application to funding in six days. Right, uh, restaurant, really great to see restaurants coming back. Uh, this restaurant, family-owned business, client was heading into their busy uh, wedding season. They needed to ramp up. They needed to get ready. They had two, um, they had two loan balances out there, daily payment uh, type of deals. Um, we consolidated both of these, um, both, of their, uh, both of their loans that they had out there um, that, were, that were, they were paying back daily. We put them into a weekly uh, payment uh, plan. Um, we did $150,000 over an 18-month uh, repayment period on term loan products, so the rates were more competitive. We saved them almost $10,000 a month 
uh, in payments, and they walked away with cash. Application to funding, free business days. Nice work, team. I love to see we can save people money, and they walk away with money, um, and they're able to use our money to get ahead of uh, this busy wedding season, knock it out of the park. So um, great to see all good stuff. Great to see restaurants back. It was a little crazy for a while. All right, auto repair, um, expansion. They're looking to expand their business. Um, they had an opportunity um, to purchase a second location. Um, they were buying a location. It was non-real estate, so it was like a, um, it was a competitor, um, you know, not too far. Um, and they needed to, you know, they were purchasing the business, which was leasing a location. Um, we did, uh, which was really cool. They needed to purchase a second location and purchase new equipment. So we did our, um, our SBA hybrids here, knocked it out of the park. Um, so what we utilized in this, we did a $200,000 business advance against our future sales over an 18 month, uh, estimated term. Um, and then we did a 10 year SBA 7A express $350,000. Um, so long story short, um, the team did the $200,000 deal, um, in, it only took four days done and which gave them the ability to put a down payment on and secure, uh, the business. Because they were they were in competition, someone else was looking at it, so they locked it in, uh, and then we, we were working on the 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 the, uh, the seven A uh, SBA loan. We got them ten years prime prime plus prime rate plus two percent, and uh, they were able to consolidate some debt with it and come up with some additional money. Um, it was an awesome deal uh, uh, by getting this done for this customer. This new location was going to bring in six hundred and fifty thousand dollars in additional revenue. They were really, really happy with us, and we were really happy to see them uh, lock this deal in and grow their business. Uh, marketing company uh, is up next. Um, you know, obviously, clients uh, uh, marketing took a hit in 2020 due to COVID. A lot of lenders were scrutinized them post COVID. Um, they're taking on more customers. Things are bouncing back faster than they can imagine. Um, eight eight forty one FICO score. So, like anything past like seven fifty seven eighty is excellent. They're in the 800 range. This is excellent credit. 20 years time in business. Um, but because of, because of COVID, their financials, uh, 2020 showed a 40% loss. Every lender ran from this, which is crazy. It's COVID. We get it. Things happen. We looked right past that. We focused on in the now. More importantly, where are you going? This is the value that we bring to the table. Some of our lenders turned this down because their algorithm declined it. The, one of the lenders that turned it down, we, explained the story, showed what was going on, showed the now, showed their work in progress, what they've got going on. We turned this whole thing around and we did this in a day. $145,000 revolving line of credit, done, knocked it out of the park. Client gave us a virtual high five and was happy. All right. Uh, transportation truck purchase. Uh, try, client needed to purchase the truck. It was a private sale. Private sales and equipment financing, not easy to get done. Um, and trucks are moving. They're just going, they're hot right now. Anything, any of the stuff that's available, I mean, you probably have heard about this, seen this, know about this. It, I, like, if, if there's something available, you need to move fast, whether it's a, a piece of real estate, like houses are flying off the shelves today, so are cars, trucks, everything because of the supply chain. Uh, we did a term loan, $100,000 term loan, 24 months, and a revolving line of credit, 50000 bucks. application to funding, two days, customer got the truck, and then was going to use the revolving line of credit to lay out uh, for the new driver and take on that more business. A shout out to this customer. Super happy they got this. This is going to help them grow their business. Again, we love to see this stuff. All right. I apologize for moving fast, but I respect your time and I respect you as a business owner and everything that you're doing. Um, if you'd like to learn more, if you'd like to speak with my team, you can go to nationalbusinesscapital.com forward slash credit suite. Um, we are power partners of credit suite. We love working with you um, and their customers and we're happy to help you. Uh, when you call in, um, you know, please mention Credit Suite um, so we know where you came from. And uh, we love going above and beyond for all Credit Suite customers as we do for all of our customers. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for tuning in and watching it. And um, if you have any questions, just reach out to my team. You know, we're, we're, not, um, you know, we're not salesy at all. Um, and we're happy to answer all of, your, uh, all of your questions. Joe, awesome job. Yes. Killed it. Thank you. So everybody, listen, um, we have over a thousand lenders, funding sources that we work with, over a thousand. 
right? And there's a reason that I think Joe is the only one you've ever seen me ever bring on to a live stream. We do three live streams a week. We've done this for I don't know how many years, right? So there's a reason of the hundreds, maybe thousands of, of presentations. I'd say thousands that I've done. Yeah, it has to be thousands because we've got thousands on, on YouTube videos. Uh, thousands uh, of uh, the presentations I've done that like, he's one of the only guys I've ever brought on here and introduced to you and said, look, you've got to talk to our tribe. And there's a reason for that. There's two real reasons for that. First of all, they just get stuff done, period. I mean, they help a lot of our customers get financing that don't think they can qualify, that struggle to get financing, um, that have been denied before, that we've sent to other banks and get denied, and, and they get them approved. Um, secondly, they get them approved for more money. Bottom line, because they work with so many different kinds of lenders and programs, oftentimes they'll stack them, which you've heard me talk about. They stack them and are able to sometimes get somebody that couldn't even get a, one program through a lender they tried, two, three, four different programs, funding sources that they're able to get. So the person gets typically more money. Um, oftentimes they get better terms than somebody's able to get. We've seen more than one instance where people get denied. We send them to NBC. They go, they go through and actually end up getting approved uh, through uh, national business capital because when they weren't able to get approved before. And the reason is they have so much clout, right? They do so much money and volume of funded deals that they're able to come in and able to uh, kind of throw their weight around a little and underwriters respond because they know how much business and how good the business is they send. And another is this customer service. It, I'll be honest, you know how it is. If you uh, you know have a customer, you refer them to somebody to help with something, then if it goes badly, they come back to you. They complain. It's an issue. It's a problem. We have that happen all the time. I can't tell you how many lenders that our customers and our clients get help get get upset at us because they're not getting the help they're not getting treated the way they should we've never had that happen not even one time with national business capital not once and it's just the way that joe runs a culture it's the culture itself the company and it's why him and i get on so well because what we noticed when we first got together is we're like wow our company started under a really very similar story um, and our cultures are very very similar because our values our ethics our morals are very very similar to each other so if you like how uh, how much information we give and the goodwill that we do out there in the entrepreneurial community, you're going to love working with these guys. That's why we work with them so much because they get our clients more money. They get our clients better terms. They get them approved and they typically don't. And they're just treated like rock stars throughout the process. So uh, Joe has shared his information on how to get in touch. We've also shared it in the chat as well, nationalbusinesscapital.com. Go to nationalbusinesscapital.com, but just put a forward slash and put credit suite. And the reason you want to do that is just tell them that you're coming uh, and recommended from us because you'll get preferential treatment. Look, I mean, that's the way it is. We send them a lot of clients because they take care of them, right? And when they know that client's coming from us, they make sure they give that client special treatment as a result. So go to nationalbusinesscapital.com forward slash credit suite. You can apply it. You can get on the phone with them, talk to them about different funding options that can work for you. Um, and again, they're dedicated to the same cause of helping entrepreneurs get money to fuel your dreams. So, uh, Joe, again, thanks for tuning in, man. It's been an awesome having you here. And I learned a bunch of stuff. And it was cool seeing the case studies and, and seeing what's happening right now in the current lending environment. So, so thanks for coming in and sharing with us today. Yeah, thank you, Ben. And I appreciate that. I appreciate pointing that out. And all, all those transactions all happened. Those are all within like the last 30 days. So, you know, we're, we're rocking and rolling. We're, we're uh, doing hundreds of transactions a month, completing 100 transactions a, a month. And and it's just great to see people back growing. So thank you for having me on. And, and, you know, truly love and respect everything that you do in Thai, respect everything that Credit Street does. We love working with your team as well. Um, it's great being power partners together. And uh, we're really happy to just help and, you know, service your customers. And and more importantly, just help businesses get back to business and and, and, and get back to growing and, uh, and, and kicking ass in 2022. Awesome. And one more thing before I wrap up, if you like to hear from Joe, then I got something really special that's never been done before. It's called the Business Loan Broker Challenge. It's going to happen the March 21st, 100% free. I know I give away too much free stuff. I might even my team could <laughs> say, but I don't give uh, So it's a, not, or it is businessloanbroker.com. Uh, if you go to businessloanbroker.com, you can register. It's 100% free uh, March 21st. Joe will be speaking there. He's going to be teaching loan brokers how to basically offer loans through their platform. So if you're at all interested in offering business credit financing for your customers, check out businessloanbroker.com. Uh, I think it's business. Oh, no, sorry. 
businesslowbrokerchallenge.com. So go to businesslowbrokerchallenge.com, get registered for March 21st. Joe will be back with us at Business Loan Broker Challenge. So look forward to seeing you at Business Loan Broker Challenge. Don't forget to check out nationalbusinesscapital.com forward slash credit suite. That's nationalbusinesscapital.com forward slash credit suite. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. We look forward to seeing you next week when we talk about more cool ways to get money to start and grow your business. Take care. Have a day. Thanks, guys.